about to get to one of my favorite shelling locations in New England, Plum Island in Massachusetts. It's always a really good place to collect species. Uh, a lot of shells roll up here. Catch you soon. All right, so we are on Plum Island. And just looking through, there is a nice little crab carapace there with a blue mussel. And we're going to make our way down. So as you can see, uh, Plum Island is uh, pretty barren and desolate. Um, but like I just found a uh, Stimson's colis here. It's a species that's a little bit more rare. This is a deep water shell. Yeah, like if you want moon snails, Plum Island is the place to go. Check this out. So we got a moon snail, a moon snail, a moon snail, a moon snail, a moon snail. There's just this beach is just littered with, with so many great shells. You want moon snails? Come to Plum Island. Soft shell clams, a lot of bivalves today here on Plum Island. Mussels, pieces of mussel, some sea glass. It's always nice to find some sea glass. So a little bit of a honey hole here. There is a small little surf clam. And it looks like a chestnut astarte without the periostracum on it. Which is interesting. I like chestnut astartes. This is a soft shell clam. crown jewel of uh, New England shells. It's this guy right here. Uh, where is it? Yep. So that's a uh, ten-ridged whelk, um, or what they call uh, a New England whelk. Unfortunately, it is not whole, um, but uh, that's because these guys live out in deep water, so um, they're actually really hard to find a, uh, a whole one on the beach. But uh, if I hopefully I do find a whole one of these, I'm definitely gonna keep this guy because uh, these are really awesome. are called bisel. Hi. Hi. Hello, baby. Coming up on a honey hole area here where honey hole means that there's a lot of shells in one spot. Interesting, got a little moon snail here. That is broken though. Alright, so there's quite a few shells here. Big piece of glass there. See anything here? Sometimes in these 
piles of drift you can find. I mean, this is where you would find some sea glass, I think, right? Perhaps, yeah. A lot of broken. A lot of soft shell clams. A lot of mussels. Nice little dog winkle. But there is quite a bit here. Uh, another rare find here. This is kind of cool. Uh, the wind's definitely picked up. It's a little bit hard to shell here, but this is a uh, this is an angel wing. Yeah, that's an angel wing. It's a little bit more of a rare find here. That's pretty cool. Is that oh, the that's day? not very old. It's still 20 years. Damn. I always love the inside of those. They're very beautiful. Oh, look at this. Holy moly. What is that? Is that bonfire glass? It looks like it, yeah. Huh, and then this one here, just the... Just bottleneck. Yeah, but that's old. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, live. So this one's interesting. This is actually a live moon snail. I don't, I'm not sure if he's still alive, uh, but he does still have uh, his operculum, which is that trap door, that brown segment there of the shell. Uh, this is a common northern moon snail. I'm going to let this guy back here, um, right where he was. Probably got left by the tide. I don't think he's still alive. He wasn't moving at all. But there is a lot of interesting stuff here in this drift. So we can explore. This is another moon snail here. This one is not alive, so it's very beautiful. A lot of surf clams and mussels. A lot of stuff in the drift. Another moon snail here. This is, wow, look at the pattern on this one. What's up everybody? Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you on the next shelling adventure.